For this question, we have tangent squared x plus 1 is equal to what? And we technically have two ways to do it. The first way is that you will have to remember a lot of identities. In that case, you can just go ahead and say tangent squared x plus 1 is the same as secant squared x. However, in this video, I do want to show you guys a more like a traditional way to figure this out. And that is, we will first rewrite the tangent square x in terms of sine square x and cosine square x. So let's do that. For the tangent square x, this is the same as sine square x over cosine square x. And once again, the power, 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 they have to match. All right? And we still have the plus 1 right here. And this is what we have. And now, as you can see, we have a, this is pretty much like a fraction, plus 1. And what do we need to do to add fractions? Well, we need to have the same common denominator, right? And first, let me make the 1 as 1 over 1. And as you can see, this is cosine squared x. I will have to multiply this 1 by the cosine squared x so that the bottoms will be the same, right? And don't forget to do the same thing on the top right here as well. So let's multiply this by cosine squared x. And we can continue. As we can see, we are adding fractions, and now the denominators are the same. When we combine the fractions, the denominator will stay the same, cosine squared x. Okay. And then on the top, we have the sine squared x. Let me just put this down right here. And then we are going to add it with... 1 times cosine squared x is just cosine squared x, like this, okay? And is there anything that we can do? Well, let's take a look at the top. Sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Do we notice anything right here? Yes, because this is equal to 1, isn't it? So in another word, on the top we just have a 1, and then the bottom is cosine squared x. And now, What's 1 over cosine x? That's secant x, right? But in this case, we have the square, so this is the same as secant square x. And this is what we have, and let's choice B. Okay, and that's it.